You only have 10 seconds to leave a like in this video if you guys want a free Season 2 Battle Pass gifted to you early, but the bad news is if you don't drop a like, Epic Games will vault your entire locker at the start of Season 2. Do you want a free gift or cosmetic from the item shop? Yes. Well, I'm now gifting new subscribers every day. Simply make sure you hit the big red button and turn on all notifications and let me know in the comments your Epic Games ID as well as what you'd like to receive off me from the item shop. Want to support me even further by entering code Friendly Machine in the item shop? Well, make sure to do so now if you're thinking about it considering this season soon launches and I'm going to be gifting tons of you guys who are subscribed to the channel and comment your Epic Games ID down below this brand new battle pass. With us only being five days away from Chapter 2 Season 2's update commencing upon downloading time occurring then lifting allowing us to finally play this fresh new season or so what people expect after 128 days it will be of chapter 2 season 1 existing. At the time of me recording this video it's February 15th and many of you may have already seen some official teasers when you're watching this perhaps a day or two later obviously giving us our first look to something particularly mainly just one thing contained in the next upcoming season. Today's video however is going to be something different in terms of the chapter 2 season to stuff you're seeing on the internet. We're going to be covering not only everything we know is going to be updated into the game, but features that people have came up with as ideas that Epic Games most likely will have listened to or recreated themselves from being inspired, as we know they've done this with many things in Battle Royale currently, whether it's the community voting system or even a lot of the skins that we're recently seeing rotate throughout the item shop. Make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video today because I guarantee you guys you won't want to miss anything considering not only we've already been teased to wear ton of new features being implemented for Chapter 2 Season 2 and its delayed release date, but Mark Rin, the co-founder of Epic Games, basically foreshadowed in this tweet reply right here that this would not only be the biggest season of this second chapter, but throughout the entire of Battle Royale's history, all of the seasons then contained from 1 to 10 in Chapter 1. Also, with you guys showing a ton of love on the videos recently, I'm going to be putting throughout this entire video three random codes at split seconds, obviously so you guys can then redeem them on the Fortnite.com redeem website, so good luck in finding those. Anyways, with that said now, the first thing we need to go over in regards to this Chapter 2 Season 2 update is how the game will look upon being updated, whether we have a new lobby screen that's completely revamped to fit the theme, or the changes made to the map in Season 2, and one of these biggest changes is the Battle Pass layout or the menu upon it being added into the game. Now, as you guys can see on screen, I've actually managed to pull the Chapter 1 Season 2 Battle Battle Pass into Chapter 2's layout, considering this was the old layout, of which you could actually overview it in. But considering this is an entirely old season, one of the first in Battle Royale history, many of you may not have not only just seen some of the items contained in here, but you won't have seen it in this particular layout, considering nobody else on YouTube has had the capability to do this. So I thought I'd showcase some different items in this Chapter 2 Battle Pass layout, so you can get a good feel of not only what this may look like upon going to get the Battle Pass or once you've actually bought it, but specifically the Season 2 version as it states in the top left hand corner. Speaking of Chapter 1 Season 2's Battle Pass being the first ever in Fortnite Battle Royale history to be released alongside, well, what we could get throughout the item shop, obviously then replacing what once was the Season Shop, we had only 70 tiers, or unlockable stages should I say, considering we now see levels instead of tiers, to actually rank up through and obviously unlock certain cosmetics upon purchase of the paid battle pass. The most iconic skin or reward for achieving this max status of tier 70 throughout Season 2's battle pass in Chapter 1 was the Black Knight. Despite this being the most OG Battle Pass skin we could receive, Epic Games have recently revamped a ton of skins they've already made to have different versions, and here is a concept of what I believe we could be seeing happen to the Black Knight considering the hype around this skin, or the recognition it receives in our Fortnite community in a neon manner. And this actually makes sense to happen considering we're seeing mutated versions, so it seems, or teases, of this being an upcoming theme in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 in the Harley Quinn loading screen for existing item shop skins even that we've already previously seen rotate throughout Fortnite. The transition into Chapter 2 with the Black Hole then expanding, having not only these new Battle Pass skins but what seems to be Alter Ego, literally or evil versions of themselves, we didn't really know what was going on too much in terms of why this was the case or the 
storyline we were going to follow because it was only portrayed through the loading screens. We're not going to see a live event, there's only going to be something occurring in the next cinematic trailer which I believe to be a flood which we're going to be talking about furthermore in just a second so make sure you stay in tuned. But speaking of these alter ego variants or what seems to be mutations of our current Battle Pass skins anyways, mutations it seems is going to be a forefront factor throughout not only this season of Fortnite, Chapter 2 Season 1 or even Season 2 but throughout the entire chapter of Chapter 2 containing a whole 10 seasons. I mean this clue was in front of our eyes the entire time of Ripley drinking some contaminated water which seems to be Purple Kevin the Cube Sludge from being harnessed at Kevolutionary Energy in liquidized form from then a sewage pipe bursting which isn't in our map currently only further enforcing that this is what the future of Fortnite will entail. This combined with the fact we're seeing these mutated crazy variants which only could have been done at the hands of something drastic or an experiment maybe perhaps from the puppet master behind it or the chaos agent actually determining this. And the reason we know this to be the case most likely whilst this loading screen is on screen is because well he's not only responsible for our alter ego fused variants of evil intent to try and stop EGO from their plan of restoring this particular universe of Fortnite but he's also trying to duplicate them and create an entire army as you guys see the sludges right here being the alter ego or evil variant of Ripley and here is a high quality look of this particular scene if it were to be implemented in the next cinematic trailer. Maybe perhaps the Fortnite flood we just referred to is going to completely wipe out all the evil on our map just like well the event itself happened for or was based around being Noah's Ark and the reference to this easter egg residing on the outskirts of Holly Hedges as you guys can see right now or what was recently discovered firstly in this reddit post the words Noah spelt in the ground that I'm going to cover over in red pen so that you guys can definitely distinguish all the letters. Could the Fortnite flood be happening or being teased right in front of our eyes for 120 plus days now ever since the start of chapter 2 season 1 to be happening in the second season? Well it's definitely possible for not only one aspect of the map like Kevolutionary Energy leaking all this sludge sewage that we're yet to see but oh you know the fact we have um, this giant damn near slurpy swamp and not only that but the fact that this has already been teased to be destroyed or have destruction occur near it maybe perhaps resulting in it slowly cracking more so as days pass as we leave throughout chapter 2 season 2 or being the main event shown in the cinematic trailer just like we saw for the cracking process of which was once the iceberg at Polar Peak. Whether this floods our entire map or whether it's one particular named location there's also easter eggs in the battle pass again foreshadowing the future of this happening as a kraken spray can be seen which people have speculated to be something coming to fortnite for seasons now especially since season 8 was added with the introduction of this giant boat at lazy lagoon displaying entirely on the flags a giant octopus or kraken like creature. We've also seen prior battle passes foreshadow upcoming events in that particular season or throughout the future of fortnite for for instance the volcanic eruption sticker or angry volcano basically well you guessed it in this image telling us early on that there was inevitably going to be a volcanic eruption as a live event. With this giant beast being teased to lurk our distant waters, maybe perhaps coming closer to our island like the Polar Peak monster swam with the iceberg attached to its back, maybe also this poster found in the files could imply that it's not on its own in terms of giant creatures surrounding our Fortnite island in the ocean. The Legend of Craggy Cliffs, which appears to be a one of a kind documentation of not only the mythic goldfish being the rarest thing we can catch in the water, but a giant flopper fish. Could this even be the giant beast they're foreshadowing to be in our water as it would be something completely surprising to the Fortnite community and get everybody talking about it and could it also be responsible for a Fortnite flood occurring due to the size of this creature and with it more so closely approaching our map having a current or wave system built up due to its momentum that would then create a tsunami and well you can guess the rest of what would happen to a particular area if not all of our Bass Royale map that we've newly seen transitioned into in chapter 2 season 1. I guess we only have to wait five days until we're confirmed as to these map changes occurring or these event build-ups but speaking of event build-ups we only have one small thing changing when season two starts being the gold conversion process or so what it seems to certain items or structures in our center island lodge. This center island I can guarantee is a pinnacle for change or even storyline development throughout this second chapter now even despite nothing so far having ties directly to that like the storm king emerging for just fortnightmares which was a 
fun easter egg that everybody really enjoyed playing in this particular Storm King LTM and not only this upcoming gold conversion process but the fact also this center island is directly the same shape itself to our chapter 1 season 1 map and with it being clearly distinguished to be a central point of our island there's no way Epic Games won't build off this. Also speaking of this gold conversion process there is a skin in the files called Auro that many people also believe considering it hasn't rotated throughout the item shop yet to be not only a battle pass skin for the next upcoming season chapter 2 season 2 but the max level reward being level 100 as it won't be raised due to well Epic Games having the perfect opportunity to do this when they transition through the black hole into this all new chapter. Also speaking of the battle pass considering we're only going to see 100 levels I have a brief overview view on screen of what you'll be able to obtain upon purchase of it so then you can level up all the way to level 100 receiving all the rewards not just the free ones that are tagged throughout the battle pass that we can achieve from leveling up. There will most likely be seven outfits with one secret skin we can unlock like the alter ego or Serana skin in chapter 2 season 1, 1500 total V-Bucks to obtain upon leveling up, 6 to 8 emotes, 7 harvesting tools, 8 to 9 sprays, 4 gliders, 16 loading screens, 6 wraps, 6 back blings, 7 banners, 8 stickers, 3 music packs and 5 contrails. All of these things will be immediately available to our unlocking ability upon Chapter 2 Season 2 launching and speaking of this update commencing, what else will be happening despite map changes and an inevitable battle pass being added due to Epic Games following traits like this every season? Well this Chaos Physics system as you guys know we've recently seen talked about or talked about being added in this 11.50 update was a letdown as we expected well this on screen right now instead of the reality you're seeing also compared to. Now we do believe this system is going to be furthermore added to or updated for the start or implementation of this new season to look like well this concept in the background right now and finally speaking of concepts getting the community furthermore involved more so as we transition into the future of Fortnite now needed more than ever we have a created LTM voting system just like we see for the community vote of the item shop that EA Skate Concepts made over on Twitter who also created the concept of this chaos physics engine looking like this in chapter 2 season 2. How cool is this? Would you guys like to see it and obviously it doesn't just stop there in terms of concepts he's created that could be easily added to chapter 2 season 2 in terms of our customization options or ability to give us that perfect feel even perhaps also in the lobby screen as he's created a system where we can change the lobby screen layout to whatever prior season it's particularly previously been themed around. With everything mentioned and shown in today's video about what potentially could be upcoming or is confirmed to be upcoming in Chapter 2 Season 2, let me know what you're most excited for or want to see appear in this next season of Fortnite. If you enjoyed or want to keep referring back to this to soak in any additional information at any point mentioned, slap a like in the video down below and whilst you're at it if you haven't already, hit the big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you can receive every news flash update not only when these official teasers release for the next season but when the update it goes live itself as I'll be displaying everything new contained in it on the channel. Hopefully I can also recognise you guys from remaining active in the comment section of my future videos to come and I'm out. Have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching. Have a good one, take it easy and as always, peace.